Hey, y'all. I was on my way home from getting my air conditioner fixed, and there's a little mobile home park that I drive by occasionally, and it consists mostly of little single-wide mobile homes. Now, this is a park, y'all, that... Um, can you see that? I'm on the wrong side of the road. But it's actually a really, really old mobile home park. But they keep it pretty nice. Now, I wouldn't mind living over here at all. Now, I'm going to hang this back up because I'm holding it with my hand. And then you'll see when I go down the other street. So, hold on. There we go. Okay, now I have been through this little mobile home park before and it looked pretty rough, but I think somebody has kind of cleaned it up. Now I'm going to try and wash my windshield. <laughs> my van is so filthy, y'all. She is due to go to the car wash, and I think I'll do that tomorrow. Mary Jo has an appointment that I'm going to take her to, and it's in the afternoon, so I'll have time to get this buggy cleaned up. Okie dokie, let's see here. Now, these, they don't even make single-wide mobile homes anymore. They make the little park models, which are awesome. But these are very, very old, y'all. And it's kind of funny to see a mobile home park that I've got to show you these bougainvillea, y'all. Those are my favorite bushes. Now, they can be bushes and they can be trees. Now, the blue building right here is the laundry room. So, let's see here. I'm going to cut across from here. And I bet you that second blue building right there, I bet the manager lives there. That's the office. They definitely have done some sprucing up since I was through here the last time. Which, oh. It's called Easy Living Mobile Home Park. So you can see, y'all, it may consist of a lot of really old mobile homes. But it's neat. And it's clean. I think this is a family mobile home park. Yeah, there's some little bicycles right there. Now, I would not mind living here at all. Even though it's older. I don't know if they have any rentals in here or if they are all owned by people. Now, there's an untidy uh, trash area right there. Looks like a baby mattress. But you can see on the sides, on the perimeter, that it's nice and green. I love that. It kind of separates it from the stuff on the other side. Seems to be really quiet. Check out this yard, y'all. I love this. That is so beautiful. I love succulents. They're so awesome. This lady's got a really pretty little mobile home. I love that. Okay, so let's see if I can get on down here. Now, you can tell by the fence, y'all, that this is a really, really... I bet you this thing has been here since the 50s, you think? There was a little mobile home back there, and the name on it was Gold Crest. I'm going to look that up and see how old that coach is. But they're all, I mean, 
I have yet to see one that doesn't look decent. Now there's some garbage right there waiting for the trash guy, I guess. Now let's see. Now that white building we just passed is a dog groomer's. So let's see what we can see down this street. It really looks nice, y'all, for these mobile homes to be as old as they are. They look nice. Lots of flowers and um, they don't really have yards. Some of them do. And um, they've, they've pretty much all got some kind of well, that one doesn't. But some kind of little pots with plants in it. You can see what I'm talking about here. Now, this little one right here, probably a senior lives there. They don't have the energy to get out and fool with any yard. But isn't, I mean, y'all, this is a nice little park. Look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh, that looks like Deborah Joy lives there. Isn't that adorable? Now you can see right here on the left, there's a baby buggy and a little toy. But everything is neat, y'all. It's neat. It's not trashy at all. I just love it. Pretty darn nice, I would say. So, for y'all that really got on to me about that review that I did when I was in Hemet, I, I have to admit, I was probably pretty rough. But I was not trying to judge the people that live there. Just show you what that park was like. And tell you that it could have been so much nicer, y'all. Like this little park right here. I mean, these are some... I wish there was an empty one I could take y'all in so you could see what they look like on the inside. I think I'll stop at the office. Look at that. Isn't that cute, the way they've got that fixed up? And it's very neat. There's nothing, nothing icky about it. So, that just goes to show you that you can live in a really old place. But it does not have to be junky and icky. So I'm going to see if somebody is in here in the office. And maybe I'll be able to look at one. So if I am, I will make a video if she lets me. It'll have to be a separate one. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm still in this little mobile home park, and um, as I expected, the manager is not here. She's also the owner, but I did talk to the gentleman who does the maintenance, and he told me that they are completely full and that they may have something next month. He's not sure, but he told me that the amount of rent goes from a thousand dollars a month to thirteen hundred dollars a month so y'all there you have it now would i rather live in one of these little mobile homes than an apartment absolutely you can see i was talking about the neatness and i only saw a couple of things that were not but you see that boulder holding that little tiny basketball court down 
or not court, but basketball thingy, even that boulder is painted. So, um, thousand bucks a month, y'all. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But, as I said, would I rather live here in this little mobile home park than an apartment? Absolutely. At least you have a little bit of space between you. It's quiet. Um, it's not all seniors. It's not all families. But it's just a nice little mobile home park. I hope you enjoyed the little drive through. And I definitely have enjoyed driving through here. I always like to see what people do with their little yards. Now that little spot right there. Ooh, I could make that so cute. So cute. But anyway, y'all, this was kind of a fun thing for me. You must think I'm crazy that I love to drive through these mobile home parks. But I really enjoy it. In fact, I think I told you that one of my viewers, Joseph, wants me to go check out a mobile home park in Palm Springs. Now, he lives in Washington. So, one day next week, this week is full and busy, but one day next week, I'm going to go to Palm Springs, and I'm going to check out that mobile home park for Joseph. Bye, y'all.